Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. I love you. I love you, Art. And I love you, Bill. <laughs> I love everybody. There you, know you go. You know why? Because, because it's coming. Oh, I, I thought you loved us. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh, I think I, I'm, I'm a little suspicious about what might be in your Embrace the Boom mug this morning. <laughs> oh, it's filled uh, with love. Okay, what? Well, that was not a smooth way to get the commercial in. Uh, so, well, you know. I love you guys too. Okay, serious note. I love you guys too. But, uh, Bill, you can wax poetic about love and romance at this tender, uh, special time of year, can't you? I can? Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, I, I've heard it said, you know, well, you know, the love is love. Now, now, I, here's the thing, I mean, I appreciate that, you know, John says he loves us and stuff, but I think he means that like in, uh, you know, a very friendly way, uh, guys and stuff. I, I think, not that there'd be anything wrong with that, but I think, that Valentine's Day, that's talking about the romantic love. That's talking about, you know, what what is it, eros or whatever uh, the Greeks used to call it, uh, you know. Um, so I don't know that there's, the puzzlement about love to me is how it happens and why it happens. Why you love a particular person, but not another person, but somebody else can find reasons to love that person that you can't stand. And it's just the chemistry of between people is just mind boggling to me, but it's not about the mind. It's about the heart, isn't it? I mean, you guys, either one of you guys ever like fall in love at first sight? Do you believe in that? Like all three of us okay. have, and all three of us at a minimum have fallen in love at first sight with our grandchildren. Yes. Okay, that's the, easy, well, there that's you go. the there easiest you go. one. The easiest one. Because, first of all, they're blood relations, unlike your spouse, unless you're doing something right. totally illegal. Okay, they are right. blood relations, and uh, they are uh, a part of your uh, uh, chain, uh, if not your DNA. Even if you have an adopted kid, that grandchild is your grandchild it's, of somebody absolutely. that you grew up from a child to have a child. So to me, that's right, almost right. the purest, the purest uh, uh, form of falling in love at first sight. Uh, there's no doubt about that. But again, it, and getting back to like to the romantic love thing, mm -hmm. of course we love, I mean, I loved our, our grandkids uh, before I met them. I mean, once we knew that our daughter was pregnant, you just, you just love them. And that's when you're reminded of the heart's ability to have an infinite amount of love. Now, she's only going to have three kids. They've made that decision. But if she were to have, and I, I don't know how this would happen, but if she were to have like 100 kids, we would love them all equally, right? We would love them all. Just that's a, there's, that's, no, there's no litmus test for your grandkids. There's no kids, litmus test for you to do. do 100 kids is another What do we have in episode. common? You don't, that's, a, that's that's more than one episode, but uh, but you know there's just there's no there's no litmus test for loving your grandkid. It's not like what do we have in common? Do they have a good sense of humor? Are they a good dancer? Do they got a you know good personality? None of that. That's that's a different kind of love. That is that innate. That is just. But it's an infinite. Your heart is capable of an infinite amount of love. But the romantic side of love. Again, have you ever had that love at first sight where just something clicks? You just, you, you know. When I met my wife, she came into production room. I was getting uh, doing a job interview for a radio job in Roanoke, Virginia, and she was working at that radio station. When she came in the production room where I was talking with the program director, there was just, there was a spark. And we hadn't talked about any just meeting. There was a spark. You know, you guys experienced that? Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, I met my wife on Friday, July 13th, 1962, in uh, Monticello, New York. I was the griddle man for uh, the Fountain Lou restaurant, which was the big diner in town. And uh, she walked in with a girlfriend and uh, I sat at the counter. And uh, we pretty much been together ever since. Uh, and uh, she likes to tell the story that she turned to a girlfriend and she said, you see the guy, boy with the blue eyes? I'm going to marry him. 
So uh, <laughs> I would say that, um, uh, go ahead, top that somebody. Take it, yeah, John. Well, I, can't, I can't top that, but I will say that uh, you're, you're both right that romantic love does seem to start with the physical, with the, with the visual. Um, we, we see something we like, you know, pretty girl or what girls see in men, I'm not sure, but they see something. And then it, it goes very quickly, I think, from the, the physical vision of that person that is attractive to the personality. There's something about that personality. We laugh at the same things. We like the same things. We think they're cool. Whatever it is, that's romantic love. It starts very, very superficially. Think about that compared to friendship, which is another kind of love. So, you right. know, I don't think you're very pretty, Art, but we get along great. <laughs> and and okay, Bill, I'll, I'll, I'll buy your first part. No, I bought both parts. I am maybe not so pretty, but we do get along great. And I and I and, do love, I do love you, John. I respect and love you. Yeah, and Bill, same thing. You you and I and Art. Just connect on some wavelength, whatever it is. I'm not sure, but right. we can laugh together. Right. Um, yeah. It might be the commonality of our ages. I'm not sure, but whatever it is, there's a connection there, and that's a. It's not a romantic connection, although there's certainly, as I said in the beginning, I love you. Yeah. I do. I love you. Yes, I do. <laughs> but not, but not and a push on a pack. I mean, this, we we've only met via via you know Skype. Yes, you know, we have true. not never met in person, but there's right. that connection given modern technology that we're that we're able yeah. that we're able to have. Uh, yeah. um, so there's a lot of things in sync, and I don't know if it's whether it's age or not. There's a lot of guys my age I don't like. Right. <laughs> By the way, uh, I think that um, uh, I wouldn't be uh, too surprised if there were a lot of people out there making it up, of course, who uh, think that we're step up one step up from the odd couple to the odd triplet. Okay. okay. We're like the odd triplet. Uh, odd trio, I think. Oh, the odd trio. Yes, a trio. Yeah. But like a tripod. Yeah. So I love mean, love is a many splendored thing. Ah. Uh, it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. And it's complicated and it can hurt and it's hard and it's glorious. Yes. And it's hard and it's difficult and it's painful and it's heartbreaking and then it's great and yeah. then it's not and then it is. Yeah, and you and can't do journey. without it. You, you cannot do without it. Pretty, you know, somebody said, you know, there's a reason for all those love songs <laughs> because when, when the song is, I mean, it, it a lot, there's some songs that just pretty much size it up. You know, it's just, there's a reason for all the love songs. When love works, it's it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Well, what I would like I would like to say that I embrace both of you. And where do you think we're going with this? What else do I embrace? Man, I don't know. Where could you be going? Where, where I, could he be I going? I also embrace the boom. Look at this. Okay, so if you're a baby boomer, ideally, so that means if you were born between 1946 and 1964, technically that's the definition. If you're a baby boomer, don't give up on life. Don't run out the clock. You've still got goals to set and dreams to dream. Basically, live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom. And thank you guys for having me on yet again. You keep having me come back over and over. This is always fun. Bill, Bill, we have you come back because we love you. Oh, oh we, shucks. We, love we you do guys love you too. when we embrace you. Thanks, guys. I feel the love. I feel the love. Happy St. Valentine's Day. Ah, yes. Happy St. Valentine's Day to everybody. Or as I used to say, it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay. Calm down, everybody. Take a breath. Love you, too. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.